Johnny, do you think the introduction of ID cards in the UK and elsewhere could be an unintended consequence of the coronavirus pandemic? Well, interesting. There's only nine countries that currently don't have identity cards. Um, Australia, Denmark, Fiji, India, Ireland, New Zealand, Norway, the Philippines and United Kingdom. Nine. Um, and it was interesting. Back in 2003, the Blair government, I believe it was, tried to introduce um, identity cards. But it wasn't until 2010 that it was finally thrown out um, and it was felt that identity cards were perhaps an invasion of privacy or the information couldn't be held securely. But the trouble is governments cannot carry on indefinitely subsidising workers for not working. So how long will it be before we see an app that you can download on your mobile phone to prove that you've had um, some sort of test confirming that you have the relevant COVID-19 antibodies? which would therefore mean that you're not at risk of being a super spreader and you're not at risk of being reinfected. This would then allow citizens to go back to work and potentially international travel would also be allowed. Such data could easily be held on a blockchain, a public blockchain, which would be accessible globally. And we do have a case study in Estonia where they have an ID system built on a blockchain. So... Yes, in, in desperate times, we could easily see some form of global identity card being embraced or enforced in the nine countries that currently don't have a national identity card.